Hi, it's Tim Hagen from Progress Coaching, and welcome to another episode of Coaching Conversations. And I wanted to make you aware of something very cool that we're doing on a subscription basis, and we'll put a link in each one of our episodes. But every Wednesday, we're going to be doing what we call an audio podcast workshop. That workshop will be roughly about 14 to maybe 20 minutes per episode with each month having the theme from a coaching model, using feedback strategically to coaching self-awareness and so on. So if you could look in the body or in the content description of each episode, and you will see a link where you can join this subscription. These are literally four workshops every month teaching specific strategies to address a particular area of workplace coaching uh, as it relates, again, to things like awareness, motivation, teamwork, and what have you. Here's the cool thing. It's only $10 per month, and each month you will get a handout that we will follow along with, so we also give you a tool for you to take notes as we go through each episode. We hope you'll check it out. I think one of the greatest things that we can do is – really be in control of our own careers. And certainly, I think many employees can have this mentality of, well, the company is responsible for training us. I think the responsibility for training employees really should be at a minimum the tactical parts of the job. Yet, I think we have to get employees thinking more about not just learning, but really about being their own investors, their own coaches. And recently I was talking to somebody who uh, went through an exercise with me and I'm a big fan of structuring your own feedback, going to bosses, going to peers, going to people, conducting your own 360 sets of feedback and asking people using careful language, such as where from a perception standpoint, do I have an opportunity to improve as a teammate? And once you structure the language and you teach people the language, guess what happens? They become more willing to do these type of activities. Most people don't have that language at the tip of their tongue. So what they do is they'll go up to someone. So like, you know, where am I like, you know, where am I really bad? Where am I performing poorly? Everything should be framed in an opportunity to improve, especially when seeking feedback. So I had a young leader in a manufacturing plant do this, and she did it five times. And I said, the first time it happened, what happened? She said, I was angry. I felt defensive. I said, okay. And she started to talk. I said, no, 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 stop. I said, just go through this exercise with me. The second time, what happened? She said, well, it was kind of like the first time, but it was a little bit more accurate. I said, oh, okay. So let's jump to the fifth time. What happened? She said, oh, it was really good. And I said, now look at the first set of feedback, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Was there a theme? Was there a consistency of message? She said, yeah, yes and no. I said, okay. I said, did you notice something? She said, what? I go, it seemed to get easier. She said, yeah, it did. She said, I wanted to tell you that. I said, oh, well, maybe we didn't need to do that exercise. (laughs) We started laughing. And I said, when you were first asking that first session, why did you get angry? She said, I just felt defensive. And I said, remember when we talked about self-awareness? She said, yeah. And I said, what you just did was take a major step. And she said, you know, it was really interesting. She said, when I went back and I was talking to my boss, it got back to him I was doing this. Because he was one of the people I also asked, but I asked a number of people based on your coaching. And he said, I'm really proud of you. That is awesome that you're willing to do that. And what I encourage her to do, everybody, is not to agree or disagree, but make a list from each feedback where she has a learning opportunity and what actions, what was the learning opportunity, what actions she will take to alter that perception. See, what happens with feedback is we tend to go into this agree or disagree state. And I said, I'm not asking you to agree or disagree. What I'm asking you to do is be vulnerable enough to expose yourself enough to people asking for such feedback. Where do I have an opportunity from a perception standpoint to be a better teammate, to execute more flawlessly? By the fifth time, she said, I started to become more accustomed to it. She said, it still felt a little uncomfortable. I said, it is uncomfortable. You're not supposed to love it, yet you did something that most people don't do. So this feedback exercise is about seeking feedback, 
positioning her to, and anyone for that matter, to get the feedback, ask yourself, what did you learn? What actions are you going to take? And what are you going to do on a continuous basis? And she said, you know, it was the really funny thing is when my boss said he was proud of me, I immediately changed my association, my mindset to doing this more often. I said, well, you don't want to do it every single day. It'll get a little bit cumbersome and a little bit overzealous. Yet think about doing that. Now ask yourself, how do you think this has positioned you for a future leadership position, which is one of her goals? She said, I feel like I took a giant step forward. Now, this was a person, everybody, extremely resistant. And the rule of engagement I gave her is when you hear feedback you don't like, you cannot say a word. If you start telling me why you disagreed, I don't want to have a coaching session with you. And I know her well enough. I can be that tough. And she said, that was so hard because I wanted further explanation. I said, perception isn't about detail of agreement. It's about the perception we all give off. I said, we all give off perceptions. Yet when we manifest our conversations into a, a realm of perception, doesn't mean the people were accurate, yet we have a role and responsibility of altering that perception. So have your people, have your people ask people for perceptions of feedback. Ask them what they learned. What actions are they going to take? And how will that help their career? And then the biggest thing is that if you then ask them a knowledge question, such as what have you learned about yourself you're committed to improving? We call this the LAC feedback system. L-A-C-K. What did you learn? What actions are you going to take? How will this improve your career? And knowledge, what did you learn about yourself? So think about that for a second. What if everybody did that and took action on that feedback? Wouldn't it strengthen the team and the organization? Let me know your feedback. Thank you for listening to another episode of Coaching Conversations by Tim Hagen and Progress Coaching. Now, our company is always coming out with new and innovative solutions to help leaders coach their employees. And recently, we just created a new service called coach to You where leaders can pick and choose topics and assign seven to 21 day programs for employees to learn and more importantly, apply actions and then reflect and share what they're going to do going forward as a result of the learning. It's called Coach to You. We're literally bringing coaching to your employees. If you're intrigued, we'll have a link in each one of our episodes where you can get more information. And again, thank you so much for listening to another episode.